students so uh, we are in the last part of void chains and today we will see how we can convert uh, miscellaneous sentences from active to passive and passive to active let's start first we will see how we can convert imperative sentences imperative sentences all you know so imperative sentence expresses order request command proposal etc so here close the door at once this is a order so how will you write this you are ordered to close the door at once please give me a pen so please give me a pen it is a request please so you are you are requested to give me a pen let's go for a picnic this is a proposal uh here uh, uh in imperative sentence uh, remember always remember the subject is you so you suggested to go for a picnic don't tell a lie so it is an advice you are advised remember when you are writing uh, advice as verb always use s if you are using it as noun you see you are advised not to tell a lie or you can write also um, you are forbidden to tell a lie passive to active one sentence i have given only let it be mandated or ended so mandated or ended mandated or ended so these are imperative sentences uh, some more sentences let's see have a quick now in miscellaneous sentences we come to uh, one more that is sentences with infinitives now infinitives you must be familiar with infinitives is nothing two plus verb is infinitive two plus verb is called infinitive so um, i like to go to go infinitive this house is too late too late you know uh, so it is um, there is no uh, it is uh, too late for rent so uh, this house is to b b ha you have to use here this house is to b let i hope to finish the work soon the um uh, the work is hoped to be finished soon she likes all to flatter her she likes to be flatter she likes to be flatter you will have to obey his order his order will have to be obeyed by you so uh, remember miscellaneous sentences um, you have to see what what is the tense 
it may be in present tense it may be in past tense it may be in future tense so according to that you change so in miscellaneous sentences we have come to um sentences with double objects so this is uh, actually um, i have already taught you while while i was teaching present tense uh, if you remember uh, but let's see again here i wrote a letter to him here there is double object letter and him mrs sharma teaches us english both are objects bring me a cup of tea me and cup of tea double objects so here either one you can bring forward i wrote a letter to him a letter a letter was written by me to him or he was written a letter by me in that way also you can write a letter was written by me to him mr sama teaches us english either uh, us or we english we can bring forward us if we bring forward it will become we we are taught or english is taught to us by mrs sama we are taught english by mrs sama bring me a cup of tea so uh, here uh, uh, here what is omitted here subject is omitted bring me who will bring you so here um, you can write uh, as if it is an order also you are ask you can write like that also you are ask you are order you cannot write um, it will not look good you are asked to bring me a cup of tea so here uh, we have come to sentences with models now i have written the answers also to save time because we have to do some more miscellaneous uh the teacher may punish you so here uh, nothing you have to do only be be verb you use you may be punished by the teacher might i use your phone so question will remain as it is might your phone be used by me could you help me sir could i be helped by you sir they could have informed me i could have been informed by them the peon would have rung the bell the bell would have been rung by the peon you can write you may not write because it is obvious that the peon will uh, ring, ring the bell so now uh, let's uh, let's uh, go to the sentence with uh, prepositional phrases in miscellaneous sentences so in miscellaneous sentences we have come to the last part now so uh, sentences with phrasal preposition we thought over thought over is phrasal preposition aimed at phrasal preposition listen to phrasal preposition so phrasal preposition do not break keep as it is we thought over the problem the problem so it is in past tense the problem was thought over by us the hunter aimed at the deer the deer again past tense was aimed at by the hunter we listen to his advice his advice his advice is listen to was listen 
to by us. Now sentences with nobody, none, no one, etc. If these words are there, how will you convert? Nobody has stolen your purse. Your purse has not been stolen by anybody. Has not been. Has not been already we have done. This is uh, present, pre present perfect tense. So this rule we are using has not been stolen by anybody. So nobody became anybody here. I shall not be cheated by anybody again. Anybody will be, will become nobody. Nobody will cheat me again. So these are miscellaneous signs.